Welcome and welcome you all to my channel. So for today, we are going to make a simple video on how to cut off shoulder wrap dress. So this is what I'm coming to my channel. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Join us on Facebook where we discuss on um, fashion related issues. Sewing is fun by T Design. And also join us for training. I'm going to put down the details down below at the description bar. So can you click on that subscribe button and turn on the bell beside the subscribe button. So what are the measurements required? Our shoulder measurements, bust measurements, waist measurements, hip measurements, and our gown length. Note that your gown length actually depends on where you actually want it to get up to. So it has to be a short gown, it could be a midi gown, and it could be a long gown. So aside that, now let's move to the fabric. Let me show you guys how to get our wrap of shoulder dress. So um, what we need is our fabric, but because um, the chalk is not going to show on this fabric, so for better understanding, I'm going to make use of this um, pattern paper just to illustrate it for you guys, so you guys can easily see it before I transfer it to the fabric. So. The first thing I have to do now is to mark, uh, mark my arm hole measurement, which is 10 inches. So we mark our waist measurement, which is 18 inches. Our hip measurement. Now, distance from your bust to your waist is usually 8 or 9 inches. And so from your waist to your hip, 8 or 9 inches. And we have our gown length, which is about 43 inches. So now the first thing we have to do now is to mark our shoulder measurement which is 7, 14 inches. So 14 inches divided by 2, we have 7 inches. So after that, the next thing we have to do now is to mark our bust measurement. Now for a wrap dress, you have to mark your back block first because your wrap effect comes at the front. So you use your back block to cut out your front piece. So my bust measurement is 36. So plus my sewing allowance, I have 10.5. So I come to my waist line. So my waist measurement, I have 9.5. So all you have to do is your waist divided by 4 plus your sewing allowance. And so for my hip measurement, I have 10.5. So I'm going to go ahead and connect all these lines together. So basically, this is just like a freehand class but i'm just making use of this paper to illustrate it for you so we'll go ahead and connect this together and then connect it all the way to your gown length so after that this is what you are going to have basically so after connecting this is what you are going to have so this is what we are going to have after connecting it so the next thing we have to do now is to get our arm hole. So you just draw your arm hole curve this way. Draw your arm hole curve this way. I hope you guys can see this. So you just draw your arm hole curve this way. Okay, let me bring it close. So this is what you have for your arm hole curve, right? Now, because this is an off shoulder, so you first determine how many inches you want to take off. So how many inches do you want to take off? Depends on how off you want it to be. So for me, about four and a half inches is okay. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to um, draw up this straight line, which is four and a half inches. And this is what I have. So I'm going to cut away this part of it. And we have our basic block. Just have your simple basic block for your back piece. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. So after cutting it out, this is what you have. So you can see we have our up shoulder, we have our neckline, and we have our um, basic block. So what you are going to do now is to fold your fabric into two. Make sure you have a closed um, part at the back block because basically you are not opening it up. In a wrap dress, there is no zip or whatever. So you just have like one piece. So I'm going to go ahead now and cut this out and show you guys what it looks like so guys after cutting it out this is what you have just like um your normal basic block but the effect of the 
or the off shoulder is what we um, derive at this place. So we just take away the number of inches. So this is what we have for our basic block. So we are going to set this aside now. So guys, after cutting out the back block, so for you to get your wrap effect for the front, all you have to do is to fold your fabric into two, and you leave about five inches at the front. So this is where we have five inches. So you make sure you have five inches all the way down. So you can make it of either five inches, four inches, or two and a half. It depends on what you want. So back to my paper. I'm going to determine where you want your wrap to be. Do you want it to be under your bust line? Do you want it to stop at your waist? Or do you want it to just fall below your arm hole? So basically, it depends on what you actually want. So this is it. You can also paint your pattern. It's also the same. You can make it of your pattern or your fabric. So what you have to do now is to start from... This is where we have our arm hole. So I'm going to trace this out. This is the side. So from this, your arm hole, you are going to get... So for the back effect, I want about 12 inches, okay? So this is where my 12 inches fall. Like I said, this 12 inches depends on... This is my waist. So I actually wanted to get to my waist measurement. Yours could be up, yours could be down. It actually depends on what you want. So I'll be going with my waist measurement. So this is where my waist measurement falls. So all you have to do from this to your neckline. Now, before you cut it, also determine like the deepness. You might not want your wrap to really expose a lot at the upper block. So you just take note of that while you are giving it that curve effect. So from where you want this to get up to, let me take away the back block and just see my pattern. So from where you want this to get up to, just connect this round curve up to your arm hole. I don't know if you can see. Let me just explain it. This is our back block. You just indicate where you have your arm hole. Of course, your two arm holes should fall at the same side. And the next thing you also have to take note is where you want your wrap to get up to. So mine is about my waist measurement. This is around here. So all you have to do is just to connect a curve from your waist measurement up to your arm hole. So the curve, how deep the curve is determines how you want your lower block to fall. So I'm going to go ahead. So this other side, you just open it all the way down. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out. So this is where our wrap got up to. And so you just cut it all the way down. So by the time you open it up, you're going to have two pieces this way. You have one piece coming this way. And then you have your second piece like overlapping this way. So basically, and because it's off shoulder, so you also have your effect of your off shoulder. So for the front block, you have two pieces, and for the back block, you have just a single piece. And so for the back block, you have one piece, and you can see there is no opening at the back. So this is what you need. So you are going to set this aside. So for you to get your off shoulder sleeve, your sleeve length is 12 inches, so you take away 4 inches. Why are we taking away 4 inches? Basically for the, um, for our basic top, we took away 4 and a half inches. So it means we have about 8 inches, and then you add your folding allowance, which is 10 inches. So what you have to do now is to mark the 4 inches at this point straight, like this. You mark your 4 inches this way you indicate where you have your four inches and so you now mark your arm hole like what you want to use to connect it to your sleeve so before that we are going to mark our round sleeve measurement which is 12 inches divided by two which is six inches so we add one and a half inches for our sewing allowance so this is what we have this way i hope you guys can see it but let me just illustrate it on the paper so making use of this paper for you to be able to, um, for easy clarification, you mark your sleeve length. But when you want to mark your sleeve length, you take away 4 inches because it's off sugar. So our sleeve length is 10 inches. So we are taking away 4 inches, it means we have 6 inches. So you add your sewing allowance, you add your 12 inches back this way. 
so this is your 12 inches coming this way what you have to do now is to mark the four inches for your off shoulder you mark your four inches for your off shoulder now when you take away your four inches your arm hole is eight inches this means you have about three inches left so you indicate you mark your three inches so you mark your sleeve length our sleeve length our round sleeve rather is 12 inches 12 inches divided by two we have eight inch um six inches plus one and a half sewing allowance we have seven and a half inches so you connect it this way and this is your four inches so you bring it this way so basically when you want to cut this out you are cutting this out like this But don't forget that um, your sleeve is folded in thick four. So this is what you have by the time you cut it out. So this is your four inches you left for your up shoulder. And this is your arm over you are going to connect to your sleeve arm over. This becomes your sleeve length and this is your round sleeve. So I'll go ahead and do that to my sleeve and I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what you have for the sleeve. So after that, what you have to do now is to cut two straps. So the length of the straps actually depends on how long you want it to be. But note that one strap should be longer than the other one. So this is what we need now. I'll see you guys at the sewing room. Don't forget to drop your questions down below and click on that subscribe button. So I'll see you guys at the sewing room. Okay, so the first thing I want to do now is to fold the neckline for the upper um, for the back block. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this all the way down this is the neckline like the off shoulder neckline so i'll sew it all the way down and show you guys what next you have to do so this is the front piece so for the front piece where we have the wrap shape i'll go ahead and fold um this part where we have the wrap shape so after doing that i'll show you guys what next you have to do so this is the sleeve what you do now is to go ahead and um, turn the lower side like m the lower side and also the upper side of the sleeve so after that you do the same for the second sleeve so after that you have your sleeve you take um, one side of your sleeve to one side of your back block so you join the two arm all together this is where you have your arm or the slant part of your arm hole. so you go ahead and stitch it all the way down so after stitching it all the way down, you are going to have this coming up this way. So the second side of the sleeve, you stitch the first piece for the block side. So you also do the same for this um, second side. So the first thing you have to do this second side is to take your sleeve this way, attach one part of your sleeve to your back block, and then you attach the second part to your front piece. So I'll go ahead and do that. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Drop your questions or your topics down below. So after that, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So after that, you have your sleeve coming up this way. Let me show you guys clearly. You have your sleeve coming up this way. So you just go ahead and sew it round all the way down, make use of your bust measurement and your waist measurement. So I'll go ahead and sew this all the way down and show you guys what next. So after joining the sides together, we are going to go to, um, this is our stripes. Can you remember the stripes we cut out? So I'll go ahead and sew the first stripe, like to turn it in. So you just sew it all the way down and then you turn it in to give you like a neat side. So I'll go ahead and sew that and show you guys what it looks like. So what you do now is at the end of this our wrap, at this point where you have the end of your wrap, so you take one of your belts. After when you've turned it, you get after when you've turned it. So what you do now is you attach it to one side this way. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and stitch it like this. I'll show you guys what next. So the second strap, you sew the second strap to at the second edge of the wrap, okay? So I'll go ahead and sew it. Now what you are going to do, you discover that a particular stripe is longer than the other. So for this long stripe, you are going to loosen up 
a side, like the second side of your dress. This is where the strap is going to pass to. So you just lose about, let's say, one inch or one and a half inch, just where this long stripe can pass through. So I'll go ahead and loosen it up. And this is the side joining. So just um, loosen up where this long stripe will pass through. So the next thing you have to do now is to go ahead and end the lower side of the dress. So I'll just go ahead and sew this lower side of the dress and show you guys what it looks like. So this is basically what it looks like okay um it's actually so this is the all we left earlier on for the belt to pass through and you can see the belt passing through it underneath and it's just a long wrap dress with your wrap coming up this way and your off shoulder like this is what it looks like basically by the time you put it on so because it's a mannequin that was why i just hanged it um up this way and so for your back block you have your two um stripes coming to the back so you just tie it whichever way you want it and this is what off shoulder wrap dress actually looks like so thanks so much for watching this video i'll see you guys in my next video